over 7.5 billion humans on the planet. For each one of us, Earth hosts about 200 million insects. But how do we all fit? And why do we need to? The entomology collection at Museums Victoria holds over 3 million specimens. While most insects are small, most anyway, in terms of global impact, size really doesn't matter. Meet Ken Walker. Ken is Museums Victoria's Senior Curator of Entomology. Ken works on some of the smallest insects in the world. I actually work on native Australian bees. Uh, and in doing so, um, I'm looking very much at the Australian pollination or the pollination of bees. The bees Ken studies are tiny. In fact, this bee was named after Ken and is less than two millimetres long. I collected this up in Cape York Peninsula at a very remote place called Rocky River, which is out from Cohen. And the person who was working on this group of bees uh, decided to name it after me because of the effort I went through to collect it. So I have a bee named after me. So how do you study something so small? What I need are very good microscopes. And I think part of the, the joy that I have in working with these is that um, I go into a world that few other people visit. Uh, and so I see things often for the first time that other people haven't seen. Of course, entomology hasn't always been so high tech. Even today, scientists still use giant nets, some unconventional techniques, and tiny forceps. I look rather silly, I must admit, when I have my head in the net, uh, and people do like taking photographs uh, and making fun of me, but um, it's, it's the way that I, that's the technique I've developed to be able to be selective in what I collect. So you can see the massive size difference. The, the native bee is around about a third the length of a honeybee. Bees are small, but their existence has major global impacts. Did you know that one in every three mouthfuls of food you eat is a direct result of pollination? That's one in every three mouthfuls. One of the great problems in the world at the moment is called colony collapse disorder. And this is where literally uh, countries like America, uh, Europe, England have lost half of their pollination uh, services because bees are just dying. This is mainly due to a mite uh, that's called the Varroa mite. And Australia is the last continent not to have the Varroa mite. Australia gets around about $6 billion worth of free pollination from our native bees and also from the imported um, European honeybee. Uh, so knowing what we have, the bees, knowing what they pollinate is extremely important for crops and keeping agriculture going. Insects, and especially bees, play an essential role in maintaining our environment. Sometimes, small things really do make a world of difference. <laughs>